What is the internet? What is the internet? The internet is where you ask a question, it can figure it out for you. It's kind of like a helper. I don't know, it's just like a big piece of electronic kind of thing. It's sort of like a robot in your house that does lots of things. And everything for, 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 for not For no money or anything. Yeah. The internet is a remarkable tool that allows us to communicate with audio, video, text, and other data around our home, to our neighbors, and around the world. The internet's design allows all to interact with no central authority. It is a bastion for free speech and an informed society. It is also a tool that can be used to monitor, influence, and outright control society. We will examine what the internet is, what is being done to monitor and control you, and what can be done to keep the internet the powerful tool it can be for freedom of thought and speech. What is the internet? Technically, the internet is a bunch of computers, routers, electric and fiber optic cables, and wireless devices, etc that allow our computers to talk to someone else's computer. Where is the internet? You have the internet, for example, in your computer, mobile, and your tablet, of course. You can play games, listen to music, search for pages, and watch films. But really, the internet is the world's largest network of computers and exists all over the planet except in some remote places. For example, the South Pole. Okay, but how does it all fit together? At home you might have a small network without wires, but it is still connected to the internet by a cable. An internet cable. Usually your home is connected to the internet by a wire that is buried in the ground to a cabinet where many wires are connected to a large internet cable. You can also connect with the mobile without wires and then signals are sent to and from your mobile through a mobile mast which is then connected to an internet cable. When you use the internet, your device is part of the internet network. The internet cables in the ground form a network. These small networks are interconnected with larger networks and then further all over the world with the help of wires that send information super fast. Are you wondering how fast? Nearly five times around the Earth per second. Because it's light in these large internet cables that send the information, which we usually call internet traffic. One second. Can I send a cheese sandwich over the internet? No, because the things that are sent on the internet are called digital information and are made up of ones and zeros. Computers and computer programs translate the ones and zeros so that you can see, hear, and use the information. If you want to check out web pages, send and receive messages, create a site and write a blog, upload pictures, play games, watch movies, listen to music, and many other things. On the internet, there are millions of computers called servers. Contained in the servers are things like websites or huge game worlds. It is common to have many servers connected in large data centers, but it's also possible to have a server at home or at work. The large computers and servers can talk with each other, but they do not speak in a normal language like English. Instead, they send numbers and codes to each other. The good thing about this is that a computer in Sweden can understand a computer in Japan, even though the people speak different languages. If you want to check out a website, a kind of question is sent from your computer to a server on the internet that answers. The server that answers can be located anywhere in the world. Then the website is sent to your computer, and you can see it and click on it. How can a website find the right place on the internet and arrive on my computer? That's because all appliances that are connected to the internet, like computers, mobiles, and servers, have their own address. It's like the house you live in. It also has its own address so that you can receive mail and people can visit you. All appliances that are connected to the internet have their own address. You can also say that internet addresses are like telephone numbers. 
the right number in the right order make the computers and mobiles able to find each other on the internet. It's like calling a telephone number and having someone answer. IP addresses are like telephone numbers. Do you remember that computers on the internet talk with numbers and codes? Good. An address to a computer that is connected to the internet can look like this. The number addresses on the internet are called IP addresses. IP addresses are quite long. It can be 91.226.36.46. Well, you get it. Complicated, right? You can't read and remember so many numbers and points. That is why computers translate number addresses to letters. As people, we read and talk with words and letters, not with numbers. If you write or click on a link to a web address, your computer then contacts the right server with help of the Internet's address registry. But actually, the address is translated to a set of numbers and points. Addresses on the Internet can be short, like IIS.SE, or long, like www.technicamuseet.se. An address with letters instead of numbers is called a domain name. It is the servers that have domain names, not the computer, mobile, or tablet. There are around 250 million domain names in the world. In other words, there is unbelievably much to discover on the Internet. Addresses that end in .se have a connection to Sweden, and there are around 1.3 million .se addresses. There are also other addresses that end with two letters that show which country a site has as its home. To take some examples, Danish websites often have .dk at the end, while many sites in Finland end with .fi, and in Norway they use .no. All the countries in the world have a similar letter code. They're called top-level domains. The abbreviation at the end of an internet address, like .se, is called a top-level domain, and there are over 300 different top-level domains in the world. But there are more types of addresses on the net. Have you seen addresses that end in .com, .net, or .org? These are addresses that do not indicate where in the world the server is located, but which can be found anywhere. The island of Niue has the country top-level domain .nu which is used in the same way since the word new means now in both Swedish and what Dutch. do an umbrella, a shark, a houseplant, the brake pads in a mining truck and a smoke detector have in common? They can all be connected online and in fact they are. By 2022 it is expected that more than a trillion sensors will be connected to the internet. If all things are connected, it will shift the way we do business and use resources and will eventually yield massive amounts of data. But who owns this data and how safely will it be kept? By 2020, around 22% of the world's cars will be connected to the Internet. That's 290 million vehicles. And by 2024, more than 50% of home Internet traffic will be used by appliances and devices, rather than just for communication and entertainment. In this scenario, what if your car or your home got hacked? The Internet of Things raises huge questions on privacy and security that have to be addressed by governments, corporations and consumers. But if we get things right, it will also bring unprecedented efficiency to processes that will no longer be offline. Imagine cows in a farm being monitored to obtain health reports that will help farmers feed them better. Or tracking the behaviour of complex industrial machinery, preventing accidents and shortening downtime for maintenance. All kinds of devices will be able to gather and share any type of information from their environment, seamlessly organising themselves to make our lives smarter and safer. A world where all things are connected is going to bring endless opportunities for most human activities. But it will depend on us whether we are going to take advantage of it or let it take advantage of us. Will data be collected, shared and stored to improve our lives? Or will it be used to control us?